Hey, what's going on, Abbies? I, I like that, Abbies. Uh, this is Don Haber. Uh, we're welcome to Minecraft Survival with Redstone. Uh, today, we're going to be doing basic redstone. So, what I've done is I've uh, created a second path, and it's going back behind us to that pasture that was back there. That we were, when we were looking at the uh, at the, from the tower, we could see uh, a kind of kind of a green pasture going on. So, I actually wanted to do like a basic redstone kind of get, give you guys less of a scare I know that the trend is that people are scared of redstone because it's kind of hard to understand but I find I mean because it was a little bit for me it was a little you know t intimidating too but that's only because I didn't understand it because it seems so you know, I don't know to me it just seemed a little too simple so, you know, and the reason I say that is because of how much space one thing of redstone you know, requires. So one whole block of just requires redstone. So to me, it would make more sense if we could put redstone and then a block on top of it. But we can't. So to me, that, you know, makes little sense. But anyway, to get back to what we were talking here up. Uh, you know, I, I kind of wanted to let you guys know, redstone, to get yourself so you're not so, so you're not afraid of redstone. Redstone, look at it this way, redstone goes, runs the path for you so that you don't have to. So say you wanted to, you know, run over here. Uh, let's try, you wanted to run over here turn on a piston and then run back well redstone does that for you so if you let's, t let's change the position of this so if you wanted to there okay so if you wanted to make it so that you can just <laughs> of course We'll just do it from like to like right here. You can just and so it runs the path for you. You don't have to worry about it. Now, that's the simple way to understand it. You understand that you could probably just about do anything with redstone. Just understand once it's that you just have to understand where to be the placement of the redstone. Uh, you know because the. the when it comes to these, they like to have, or the, the pistons, they like to have theirs at the base. But when you've got them sideways, like such, they like to be even with, so you'd have to run your redstone like so. Otherwise it won't activate. It's not supposed to activate. Um, it, it doesn't like the redstone to be right next to sometimes uh, might take that one back, but but anyway, that so you guys kind of get it. So what I'm gonna do now is I know you like, you guys like watching me. Uh, so I didn't clear out. I, I I got everything else ready. As you can tell, I've got redstone, pistons, uh, you know, levers. I even went and got sand. Uh, there's actually a sand biome over there, but uh, or a desert biome. But the only thing that I haven't done yet to get this episode ready is to clear out this area so that we can work on our, our redstone. So I'm going to do a time lapse so you guys can see me uh, clearing this out. And I might do it a different way. Mm, no. I, I, I want to, but I, anyway, okay. I don't want to because, well, see, I was thinking is Carter has a, an account now and we can do a time lapse from like him standing right here and you could see me, me running around the map, you know, clearing all the grass and, and this out and maybe pushing that back and pushing this out of the way so that we have one big area that we can work with. But I think I'll skip with that. All right. So here we go.
Okay, we've cleared it out. Now don't close your eyes because I'm about to change. Up. I'm about to put a grid on here. Okay, don't don't close your eyes. I bet you blinked, huh? Okay, well let's get right into it. Okay, so the input output gate. This is one of the first, and it's a very 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 simple one. Um, first, you need to have your input. Of course, and I threw it in the chest. Oh no, they're right there, right underneath the huge 32. Can't miss. Anyway. Okay. So, this is just showing you that the pow there's power coming from that switch. I mean, so you can do something like this. Okay. So, that's the input output gate. And it's used for just to this is like an on the on switch to almost everything you have coming so like if you have a a piston set up or something and it's got its own huge redstone wiring thing and you have to have a way to turn it on this is your input output gate this is what usually turns it on and off okay so we'll just do this nope. we'll use these since I made a bunch of them See? Okay. Now, the NOT gate. This is a the inverter, basically. Uh, what it says, I mean, it's just like the input out input output gate. So you know, we've got we've got our our switch with our block. The difference is, is that we have a redstone torch on the backside now. When we turn it on, it's going to go opposite. So it's inverted the power. And I think you you guys have seen me do this before, but I haven't you know ran a switch on it. So if you'll notice, the switch is up and the piston is down. But on this one, the switch is up, the piston is up. So if you want something to be on all the time, you invert the power like this. And so you guys have seen me do it before where I'll have power coming in say through here and I want to invert it and bring it through to the other side like such. I'm sorry this is a really quick rough and it's the same thing. Okay. All right, moving on. The next one is the double knot. Um, this is the old school repeater. Um, it's, so before repeaters came around, this is what they used. What we used for um, a repeater. And again, it has this, the same essentials as those do. You have our, well, let's, let's move this back. We're gonna need this space. So we have our switch. But this time we're gonna run it out, I think, two. I think I think we're gonna run it out too. Yeah, we'll run it out too. Okay, so you put your torch here, redstone here, torch here. And then you put your redstone. So if you look, this is off. Switch is up, so it's off. If you go to the repeater, switch is up, so it's off. So this, the power that's coming out is off. So you kind of get it. It's the same thing as the repeater. Uh, but this one doesn't have a timed, so you can't hit, you know, time, you know, do the, the laps. So you see just like so all right moving on we're gonna do our and gate now um, basically what is what the and oh come on seriously get me out of here get out of here yeah okay what the and gate stands for why the and is bolded is because it means either or it means both of them have to be sw 
to have to be activated for it to work. So we're going to use sand here. We'll put in our switches. So it uses two switches for it to work. So let's get it all set up. Got to put our redstone torches, connect them here, connect it there, put our redstone there, and our piston here. Now, see, it won't work just by the one by itself. But if they're both activated, then this flips this redstone's power on and activates the, the piston or whatever it is that you're trying to uh, work with. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey, hey. Don't need you blowing up my stuff here. Okay. Now, to our what's called the NAND gate, and that's just basically means the opposite. Um, this one looks just like this one looks just like the AND gate, but <clears throat> excuse me, man, I have to keep clearing my throat. Uh, I cut it. That's why I cut it out. All right, so this. Uh, you, we do the same thing, but this time we aren't going to be connecting a uh, redstone torch on the backside. Now remember, up is supposed to be off, you know, opposite of the wall switch. So, <laughs> so we flip this and that, and it's down. So it's the opposite of the and gate and that my friends and that abby's is the first step of redstone so you guys can kind of get a little bit under understand how it works so this is the simple input output the not gate or the inverter inverts the power remember up is always off the double knot repeater old school the AND gate, which means both of them have to be flipped on to, for it to work. And the NAND gate, which means uh, we have to, we left it on. So, which means both of them have to be off or on to be for it to work. But it's just opposite of the AND gate. I might have just messed that up. But, all right. Well, I hope you guys got it. Uh, I had great fun doing this episode, I, and I can't wait to get set up for this, the next portion of the redstone, so that we can start making some massive projects over here at our house, and over at the tower, and all kinds of stuff throughout our world. Okay, well, we'll see you next time, everybody.